What's up guys, I'm back and I'm doing another vlog. Today I wanted to talk about some comments uh, that Charlie Nicholas has come out lately, uh, quite recently, regarding Wenger's future. Um, now, according to Arsenal legend, Charlie Nicholas, um, Wenger could announce his future um, as early as this weekend. <clears throat> now, this is just come out of the blue. Um, but according to Charlie Nicholas, he has a feeling, in inverted commas, that Arsene Wenger is poised to confirm his Arsenal departure. Um, it's been, obviously, it's been a well-known uh, fact that Arsene Wenger, is, his position has, is under review um, after another poor season um, in all competitions, really, um, despite the team's progress in the Europa League. Um, uh, the, 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 the the club are not where they want to be and Arsenal face are, are in very high risk of missing out on Champions League football again next season and the board have, have said to be finally looking at that and think and recognizing that that is a problem you know you're just looking at the empty seats um, at the Emirates the, the low attendances um, that just are not picking up people have lost interest um, the league is done with unlikely to finish in the top four, let alone we're unlikely to finish fifth, let alone in the top four. We're about eight points uh, behind Chelsea. So there's an outside chance we could overtake them in the coming weeks, but that's unlikely. Um, but they've been poor. But that's the best we can hope for anyway, um, in terms of our position in the league, fifth place. Um, but that's the best we can hope for. And um, yeah, so no, Nicholas has come out and come out with these comments that he thinks that Wenger could come out and say he's leaving, um, in in uh, in a kind of way which is designed to to banish you know uncert uncertainty amongst the club, amongst the fans, and amongst the, amongst the players, um, which would I think be a very good move if this is true. This is Nicholas's thoughts. It's it's completely. I don't in terms of what I feel. I think this is bollocks, to put it plainly. I think I don't see Wenger doing that. Um, I don't see him coming out and saying that I'm leaving, especially after he said that he, well, that he still thinks he's the man to, he, if left up to him, he'll be here until the end of his contract. So I don't see why he's gonna come out now and say that he wants, he said that he wants to stay. So why is he gonna come out now and say that he's gonna leave? I don't think that's true. I think um, in, this, in a press conference, Tomorrow, you'll probably, or today, I don't know when it is, you'll probably say those comments are untrue. I respect my contracts, blah, blah, blah. He'll come out with something like that. And so for me, I don't think this that's going to happen. Um, so it's quite, it's kind of a left wing uh, claim to make from Charlie Nicholas's part. Um, yeah, but it would be good. It would create a lot of nice positivity around the club and around, amongst the fans. And I think the fans in general will turn um, and be more excited for the future no matter what happens uh, from now until the end of the season I think the fans will come together and you know say goodbye properly kind of thing because uh, you know he does deserve that he doesn't deserve to be ousted out as I've had my opinions on him but at the end of the day you've got to remember what the guy has done for the club and and despite him, fail, like in the last five years, I'd say, I won't say 10 years, um, in the last five years, has failed to reach new heights with the club, I think he does deserve to leave with dignity. And I think there's no point sacking him now. They, they won't make a difference. I think you might as well just let him finish the eight games in the league and whatever games he has left of the Europa League, providing that they get past AC Milan this week. We can't take AC Milan for granted. Uh, but that's another conversation. Um, so, yeah. Um, in short, to yeah to finish this, uh, I'd say that that's not going to happen. My feeling is not going to happen. I'll wait for it, but I don't think it's coming. Providing that we don't have any games until for the next two weeks, next two three weeks, um, it would be a good time to come out and after the dust is settled of the Europa League and people can take a break from us. I think it would be a good time to come out and clarify his future, but. It would, I think it wouldn't, it, it wouldn't be, it's unrealistic to think that, I think it's not gonna happen. Um, unless the club um, issue a statement themselves, 
I don't think Wenger himself will come out and say it. Um, I don't think he's willing to say it. I don't think he's the type of man to say it. He's stubborn enough not uh, to, to try and stay in a job. So why would he come out and say that he's... I don't see it happening. So, yeah. So that's it. Um, I will be back uh, very shortly um, with more uh, vlogs this week. Um, I've got one coming up about European football and the quarterfinals in both the Europa League and the Champions League. And I wanted going to do another one about um, women's football um, in and equality. So, yeah, I've got some more material coming up to discuss. And um, so stay tuned for that. But uh, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you later.